one of my favorite videos. We're doing a spring tablescape. So I started off by going to Kirkland's, but I really didn't have a lot of luck at Kirkland's. I was looking for some really adorable napkins to use, maybe if I wanted to use them for Easter, you know, or any time throughout spring, but they were just very ordinary there. So I was pretty disappointed in what I was finding. So I decided to head over to Home Goods, and I had some luck. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of my tiny shopping trip to Home Goods, and then I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna show you what I put together for my spring tablescape, and I'm gonna give you some really great DIY options if you're not really wanting to spend money, or if you're just looking for something a little different, or if you just love to DIY and do something unique. All right, let's head to Home Goods, come back here to my place, and get started. So I was on the prowl for a table runner. They had a lot of different options here at Home Goods with different bunnies. They also had just some neutral styles, lots of different choices for whichever way that you wanted to go with your spring table. I kind of wanted to find the table runner that would set the tone for my entire table. I really didn't know what I was gonna get. So I ended up getting the blue one that you're gonna see here in a moment. And that just kind of helped me figure out exactly how I was gonna do my table. Then I knew if I was doing blue, I really wanted to incorporate yellow. Yellow. and this whole shabby chic thing started popping out at me and I'm like yes this is the way that I'm going to go so then I started looking for other elements that would go nicely with the table and you'll see here in a moment in my cart it just all will look so cohesive and looks nice together and just sets the tone for such a beautiful spring tablescape Let me introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, Helix. So recently I was told that I have the most dreamiest bed and I have to agree. Ever since I got my Helix sleep mattress, my night sleeps have been amazing. Before you feel intimidated to buy a mattress online, let me tell you how easy it is. It comes straight to your door, rolled up, it's super easy and convenient to just unroll it, pop it on your bed, watch the fluffiness happen. It's truly been life-changing. Think about how much you sleep in your bed. I mean, it's a lot. We spend a large majority of our life sleeping. So why wouldn't you want to invest in a great night's sleep? So one of the cool things is you go online and you do their online sleep quiz. Both Jason and I are side sleepers. So it paired us with the Helix Sunset Lux. We went with the Glacio Text cover because we want maximum cooling at night. No night sweats for us in this house. And if you're feeling a little unsure, Helix offers a 100 night sleep trial. I don't know who loves the bed more, me or mister. One of the nice things is there's no fiberglass in any Helix Sleep mattress. They also offer flexible payment plans and financing options. So a comfortable night's sleep is within your reach. One of the things that I love to do is share things with you guys that I truly love. This mattress, I adore, and I think you will also. You can head to helixsleep.com backslash charming abode and you'll get 20% off plus two free pillows. And don't forget, it's free shipping. It comes rolled up right to your door. With a 100 night trial, you plenty of time. That's over three months worth of time to decide whether or not you truly love it, which I know you're going to. And something else you might not know, not only when you do the sleep quiz, you know, does it pair it with the mattress that's perfect for you. They have mattresses designed for like the big and tall sleeper they have for kids. So there's lots of options. So head to helixsleep.com backslash charming abode. You'll get 20% off your mattress plus two free pillows. Big thank you to Helix for sponsoring today's video. The theme I decided for my spring table this year was shabby chic. I just wanted something with just really nice, light colors that just had, I don't know, just a really nice ambiance. I found this adorable one at Home Goods, as you saw, um, and it was $14.99, and I love the blue in it with the little rabbits going across. We're just gonna start by placing our table runner down the middle. Super simple, nothing too crazy. I love all the detail on here. So pretty, and I also love the blue with just the natural wood. Definitely gonna be very shabby chic. So a lot of us do not have Easter plates. Okay, I have a few, <laughs> but let's pretend I don't. Let's pretend I'm not some crazy plate lady who doesn't have like a million plates. <laughs> okay, pretend you just have your normal place setting and you want it to look 
maybe like for Easter or just make it look really great for spring. You can go ahead and you can use just your regular plates and I'll show you how we're gonna jazz it up between the napkins and napkin rings and different decor because that way you don't have to spend extra money on plates. So I have my adorable set here that I got from Walmart. It's like my favorite, it's the stoneware and I'm going to put a, a regular dinner plate and a salad plate on top. Now here's where you can decide if you want to take it up even one more notch and you can use a charger. Um, I have several chargers. Where did I get this one? Oh, this is an oldie. This was from Pier 1 back in the day. I like it because it has a little bit of gold on the edging and that's going to come into play in some of my decor that's going to go on my centerpiece. So I know this looks really ordinary and blah and that's okay because I'm going to show you how you can take ordinary and blah and make it look fantastic. So this is going to be our place setting. So with any table setting, I always feel like the napkin can be the star of the show. The napkin and the napkin ring. So I found at HomeGoods the little shabby chic napkins. And what I was loving about them was, of course, I really love blue and yellow together. But look at the adorable ruffled edges. How sweet is that? It's just so pretty and so nice. So that's really going to draw our eye to the middle of our plate and just add a little charm. So I've had these little bunny napkin rings for a long time. So I think that would look really cute with the yellow but here in just a little bit I'm going to show you how to make one of these DIY if you don't want to spend any money but I'm one of those people that I don't feel like these are super expensive and then once you buy them you have them but I will show you a cute DIY okay so for us we're gonna place our flatware in the middle of our napkin here and then we'll just slide over our napkin ring as I drop a spoon And we're going to want to make sure all these adorable little ruffles show when we place it on our place setting because that is what is just so lovely. It's almost like a cute little Easter dress. Let's go ahead and get the rest of them on the table and then I'll show you how we can do a DIY. If you're enjoying today's video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you never miss out. Take this toilet paper roll and you're going to measure two inches. So just measure two inches, put a little mark here. Then you're gonna cut that, poke a hole through there, and then cut around. Doesn't matter if the edges aren't super straight or even, because the burlap will be covering it up. All right, you can definitely tell I went crooked. That's okay. So this is gonna be our napkin ring holder. I have this big thing of burlap that I've had forever. And I'm gonna use a little bit of it to make a little burlap bunny napkin ring. So now we're just gonna cut enough to go around and we're gonna glue that in there. So I'm just making sure I cut enough like that and then that it'll go inside. And if it's too much to push inside, then you can trim that. Let's see how that's gonna be our burlap napkin ring like that. So I'm gonna glue that in there. I'm just using hot glue. You can use whatever you want, but I just feel like hot glue will make it go super fast. Next, we're gonna cut some bunny ears. Don't laugh at my art skills here. <laughs> Here's this, and I think I'm just going to kind of like fold this in like this. Because I was looking at how those are done. And so I'm gonna kind of do the same thing and like fold that in like that and then glue it. Okay, this is kind of giving me the giggles. Okay. And I'll do the second one like that. And then if you want, you could do like the other, like the ones that I bought and you could like really deck this out with like beads. I'm not gonna go into all that right now. I just wanted to show you how easy this was. I mean, literally toilet paper and some burlap, super simple. So let me get this glued on. I love burning my fingers on these hot glue guns. I need those little silicone things for your fingers but mine are upstairs in my office and I'm too lazy to go up and get them. So if you bend, I bent the burlap back and then that helped keep it up because burlap is pretty stiff and so it helps to 
keep the little bunny ears in shape. Okay, well I'm a dork and I just realized that I put the bunny ears on the wrong way. <laughs> So think about it. The other one was like this. I should have had the bunny ears this way. What? Oh my goodness gracious. That's just the kind of day I'm having. I do like this. It's super rustic looking and super fun. You could really jazz this up. Put cute little like pearl buttons if you wanted to go into all that. By the time you do all that, you could just spot these because these are not expensive. For this tablescape, I have this glassware that, oh, I love, it's so pretty, but I'm really loving the little yellow details on it. And it's just like one of those glasses that I hardly ever get to use. And I'm like, yes, I am using this. So pull out those special occasion glasses for this time of year. Okay, I found this beautiful bunny last year at Home Goods. And what I really love about him is just the muted gold tones that are on him reminded me a lot of the chargers that we're using. So that's why I chose him. And he's gonna be the center of our centerpiece. So keep in mind when you're doing your centerpiece, whether or not you're having a buffet or if you need to remove your centerpiece in order to place your food. So for me, we're doing a buffet so I can put whatever I want in the middle of my table and leave it there and not worry about it. Now, if I wasn't and I needed to take it off quickly, a lot of times I'll make the centerpiece be in like a tray or a dough bowl, something like that to where I can just pick it up and take it away and it makes it easy. But this year it's a buffet and we are good to go. So this has got my hair on it. <laughs> what doesn't have my hair on it around here? Anyway, this little flower piece was at Home Goods, and it just screams cottage core to me. I just thought it was so beautiful, and as you can tell, it has the gold on it. So I'm kind of getting my elements to mix and match, and then that way the whole table is incorporated together. Now I'm gonna start off and I'm gonna try this here and we'll kind of decide if this is gonna end up being the spot for it. I'm one of those people that I have an idea of what I think it's gonna look like and then when I start doing it, I start playing around a little bit. Now I have another vase that we're gonna put over on this side and we're gonna see if this is gonna be too much flowers, but did I say cottage core earlier? I did say cottage core. I mean shabby chic, wrong design, <laughs> wrong design. Anyway. So let me show you the other one that we have for over here. This face is so pretty and I love how it's hand painted, has the yellow flowers, which looks so nice with like our drinking glasses and then our napkins. And next I'm gonna add real flowers. One of my favorite things to do is add real flowers to the table. I just feel like that just gives personality and just really adds like hominess to your table. Okay, these flowers are gonna be so beautiful when they open up. I just bought them and they had the little protective things around them. So they're all kind of squished in and the lilies haven't opened. So keep that in mind when you go to buy your flowers that if you might need to get them a couple days early so then they're like opened and beautiful for your dinner. So I'll have to come back and film these in a couple days and see how they look once these beautiful sunflowers open and I just thought they were like the perfect color scape to go with our nice little shabby chic yellow and blue little setting. So one of my favorite things to do is add in black. I always feel like it just really stands out and that contrast is really nice and I feel like since we have only the blue in the table runner and then we have yellow in the napkins and on the glasses and in the flowers we'll add in blue here so we have another little pop of blue. And I'll do three different candles. So you know me, I'm always adding beads into everything. I love beads and I love how that just looks so nice and just very cottage looking. But since this is my Easter table, I am going to add in this cute little book stack that says he is risen. So my table is more about what Easter's really about. And so I'm gonna add that in and then I'm gonna take the beads. These beads actually have a cross that's on them and I thought it might be cute to lay the cross across the top and then just have the beads coming down like that. Do I want, the, wait, maybe I want it to come out like that, yeah. Oh yeah, I really like that. And then that way I'm representing spring and then of course the resurrection of Jesus. I know this doesn't go with the way how a tablescape is technically supposed to be set, but I have got to move this cup over here. It's driving me crazy that it's getting blocked. The bunny's being blocked <laughs> and that's okay. 
you do your table whatever makes you happy. I think I'll do it back here on the back side also, just so everything matches up nicely. Something else that's super adorable are these little nests. I bought this years ago at Pier 1, but this would be super easy to DIY. And then you just put the little command hooks on the back of your chairs, that way it doesn't hurt anything. And you hang those around, and that just really adds something to the entire table. Ah! Oh, I recently put one of these nests out on my front porch, and it was very similar with the eggs, and so you would just glue those down. And then how easy would that be? This is just the little, um, grapevine and so then you could just put that up and around with a little burlap bow that would be very easy to DIY and inexpensive I'm gonna show you a really simple way to always have spring plates or if you wanna make Easter plates with bunnies, anything that you can always have to set the tone for your whole table. So they sell these clear plates at Dollar Tree. So they're $1.25. Whoa! <laughs> so they're $1.25. So then you just pick one of your favorite napkins for Easter. I really love this bunny one, but once I opened it up, I don't like how the four bunnies are going the opposite way. But this one is so super bright and cheery. And so all you do, now keep in mind, this is gonna be for a one-time use because obviously you're going to wash this plate. Turn your plate over, take your Mod Podge, and you're gonna put that on the back of your plate. Just spread that all around. So remember this is on the back side, so that's not gonna affect anyone's food or anything like that. Okay, once you get that covered up everywhere, take your napkin, as you can see, we're obviously decoupaging this. Take your napkin, and take the back side off. So you want it to be really thin. Take this and place this facing down on the plate. Now we're gonna do more of the Mod Podge so that the napkin adheres to the back of the plate nice and smoothly. And then we'll cut off the excess. So I'm gonna let this dry and then look, this is what your plate is going to look like. How gorgeous is that? Let me let this dry and then I'll show you. Now that the bottom's dry and I can turn it over, I'm just like sealing the edges up here just to give it a finished look. So obviously when you're done using this plate, you're just going to wash it and the <laughs> this is gonna wash right off. But the plate is usable and can look so cute. I just love it because you can just do any style that you want for your table. Okay, so I'm kind of playing around. I showed in the past how to do this and you're gonna make the little bunny ears. So you, I just, I thought this napkin was so cute with this. It's very pink. You could do a contrasting color. I thought about maybe just doing like a cream, but we'll just do this one for fun. Uh, I'm all acting like I'm doing an actual tablescape, but I just rolled this one up and then you just put your egg in the middle and then you just pull it up and then I'm gonna use some jute and tie that there and then look, then we'll have like cute little bunny ears and that could be the center of your plate. Oh, that's so cute. So I really like this, but I do feel like this pink on this pink is maybe not giving us a good contrast. Let me show you in the other napkin color. I didn't even iron this one to show you, but you just fold it up like this. So see how you just have a triangle and then you're just rolling it in on itself. And that's how you're doing it. And then wherever this is, that's where the egg's gonna be. If you wanted to, you could iron that to make that a little more crisp. But you get the idea. That's super cute. And then look at this beautiful plate that you have.
Thank you guys so much for coming along and decorating my spring table. I hope you guys all have a very wonderful Easter and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.